Right, Joanne, just popping out for this uh, documentary. And uh, I just bought a football club. OK, Niall. Come on. Niall Reedwood is a businessman from Winchester. He is brought to South London today to complete the takeover of an amateur football club, one that has rapidly risen throughout the non-league divisions in its short history. Well, it's the, uh, it's the Crawley Terriers and... Uh, it's the Croydon, I think. No, sorry, it's the it's the uh, the Croydon uh, uh, Terriers, and uh, and apparently we've uh, we've just got into the FA Cup. That's right. Yeah, that's part of the reason we're here, following you around. Yeah. You've gained entry to the FA Cup for the first time in the Croydon Terriers history. Apparently so. Yes. And what are your hopes for the tournament? Well, it's a tournament, so the hopes are to win it. I don't know uh, quite where I'm going. Uh, does anyone? I have any ideas? The Croydon Terriers are a non-league football team, recently promoted to the 10th division of English football. Croydon! They now qualify for the FA Cup, and new chairman Niall Reedwood has given our camera crew unrestricted access to their preparations for the tournament. When I was younger, I always had a dream to play in the FA Cup. I mean, every lad, every boy wants to play in the FA Cup. It's a real David Goliath tournament. Anything can happen. And Colin scores. The captain puts it away. Sutton United of the National League are through to the last 16 of the FA Cup. Giants against the Minnows. So many upsets, and I think at a club like this, there's the opportunity for that. In order for the Terriers to compete in this year's FA Cup, they have been granted permission to temporarily take shelter with local rivals Croydon Athletic. I think the grand sharing idea of Croydon Terriers and Croydon Athletic will give both sides, especially Croydon Terriers starting out, a fantastic base and a foundation to move forward. In this day and age, what with the recession and money being tight, it's a great stepping stone for clubs to move forward. So I wish Croydon Terriers all the luck. Wide angle lens. <laughs> <laughs> With the Terriers in just twice a week, they will have to work extremely hard to gain the fitness required to challenge in the FA Cup, a tournament where some 900 hopefuls will compete in this year. Can you see fitness being an issue first day of training? Yeah, I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it already. There's uh, some of them who've, who've put on a few pounds and uh, look to be a bit heavy in the legs. Is there anyone you're not so pleased with today? Ian's got a bit of attitude which I kind of expected, you know, we've taken the, the captaincy off him, so uh, that's going to be a tricky one, I think, but, you know, I'll just keep on top of that. But I got the call uh, last week, uh, Ray Barnes rang me up and said, do you want to be captain? I said, yes, please. So I assume the, the ex-captain, has he left the club, or? Uh, no, he's just right over there, with his arms crossed. Ian. Hi, Ian. Yeah, he's not happy. You've lost the captaincy this year, we gather. Is that playing on your mind? Uh, no, no, it's all right. I'm not bothered. One that asked. You know, I'm one of the better players out there. Going straight in. Don't need to worry, do I? Ah, uh, Spanish Jolly's captain. Well, I think, um, yeah, I think he's got a little bit more about him. He's got a bit more pizzazz. And the boys will listen to him a bit more, I think. The captain has to be the, the one who pulls you together and is that, that driving force behind you that you need when maybe you may be flagging. Or... And that's what he's got. So, you know, yes. I think he should be the captain of the team, and I'm glad that he is. Speedo's got a bit of a bit of an attitude problem, I think. If something goes wrong, you know it. That's your fault. Fucking putting me off. I think we get along fine most of the time. It's just uh, on the pitch, he can be a bit, bit of an ass sometimes. Yeah, I'm Spanish John. He's a teacher's pet, so he gets a captaincy. I'm not going to kiss the manager's ass, so. Fuck it, I'll just play my game, won't I? He's kind of a little bit extra wit, but you know, he's, he's still got ability, the boys. He's a good player. You got my goal in the drill before. I'm, I'm sure someone might have picked it up. I know he has quite clean after 25 years. I've got. Leadwood's coming in a minute, so can we get some chairs for him? Who? Who? The new chairman. So can we get some chairs? Organised guys. We do that, yeah? The new chairman's coming in a minute, so can What's we try and set up some chairs? Niall, Reedwood. Ah, Reedwood. Can we try and set some chairs up so we can do that? Neil I've warmed this seat up for someone now. Yeah, it's two chairs. <laughs> Fine, got chairs. Um, can you just do... <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, can you get your tracksuits on as well, please? 
What? Mm. Why? Why didn't you tell us this before we organised the chairs? I didn't say sit down, did I? I said, can you sort out the chairs? Just, yeah. You got chairs. a professional a new chairman, didn't you? What, you like, that like you? Great, just do our thing as normal, yeah. Oh, absolutely, Straight, yeah. yeah. I mean, are you sort of, you're not in charge here, are you? I know, just, I'm just the assistant. I mean, Ray Barnes is the manager. Yeah, so we'll probably, you know, speak yeah. to him a bit about... All right. Okay, well, today, <clears throat> it's an opportunity to meet the new owner, Niall Reedwood. Um, uh, to see what his grand design is for the club, which is very exciting, to be honest with you, for, for me and, and for the whole club. Look, this um, Barnes guy, do you know if he, uh, if he likes to be called Ray or, or Raymond? It just says Ray Barnes here. I'm the boss, I'll just call him Barnes, it's easier, isn't it? Bob, you haven't got my tie, have you? Uh, it's in the back, sir. All right, go ahead. Going to smarten up the appearance. Yeah, couldn't lean over and grab it for me, could you? I have my own ideas of where I want to go. I've got a couple of ideas of you know, key signings that I think will cement this club in this division. And so being able to sit down with them and chat through that aspect is highly exciting for me. Hi there. Barnes? Hi there, yeah, great to meet you. Niall Reedwood, how are you doing? Good. Um, uh, the boys are in the bar. Uh, just to let you know, they can get a bit rowdy on the first day, so... Don't worry about it, that's fine. <laughs> Shall we uh, go and have a few words with him? Introduce yeah. yourself? Yeah, Let's sure. Go, okay. On. So, yeah, just through here. Good, good. Oh. Oh. Okay, settle down. Right, uh, there's a couple of things that I'm sure you're all aware of. First being that this season, we're going to be followed around by a camera crew for a documentary. Oh. As of today, we have a new owner, the Right Honourable Niall Reedwood. Aha! So, I'd like to show him all the respect you would me. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good thing? Right, well, it, uh, it certainly is nice to be here. And uh, I look forward over the, uh, over the coming weeks uh, uh, to working with you all and, uh, uh, and meeting you all individually and, uh, and getting to know you a bit better. Uh, I'm, I'm really confident that if we, uh, if we set the right markers and, uh, and improve the team in the right areas, do you know, I think we could go all the way. Cheers, Niall. Thank you. You looking forward to meeting the chairman? Yeah, uh, really want to know what he's going to bring to the club, what his ideas are. So yeah, yeah, I think, I, I think it's going to be exciting times, yeah. But look, why don't we uh, take it at the start, Gone. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, well, um, uh, I've been at the club for two years, won two promotions. Looking forward to the season ahead, looking forward to uh, a really good working partnership. Um, okay. We've got um, a few pre-season friendlies, one of which is going to be up in Scotland, quite interestingly. I'm not going to fucking Scotland. Uh, that's okay, you don't have to come. I mean, the guy has a business background. He's got business acumen. So what kind of market share uh, can we expect to get? Um, 5%. Is that what you mean? No, how many people are going to come and watch the football? Oh, sorry. Um, and if we get 5% of the country, I'll be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 50? People. Well, uh, 100, sometimes... Um, 250. Right. And is that the only time that you have? Uh, you yeah, know, I think that's going to be far too late. My name is Kate. I'm Mr. Redwood's secretary. I came here with him from uh, Redia Solutions. It's a media company that we both used to work at. I manage his diary and do paperwork and answer the phone and that kind of thing. It was similar to what I used to do. I mean, one of the reasons I agreed to come to Croydon was I, I thought I was getting my own office. I just didn't realise that it would be in the kit room. I mean, there's a washing machine there. I hope the players don't put their sort of sweaty kit in there while I'm working. Assistant manager Kev Marlwhite delivers a new kit which will be modelled for the team photo later this afternoon. Who's got my shirt? Who's got it? What are you looking for? Number eight. Who's got it? It's on my seat. Who's got it? 
has it been a busy start to the season then this year? Well, actually, I've just had paperwork come through from Torino Football Club. Apparently, we're signing an Italian player today. We need a couple of players, probably probably two or three players, which obviously I'd love to discuss with you. I've got some ideas um, of of, um, of a couple of players, but yeah, I like particularly that I. Who's got my fucking That's like number? Who's got my fucking number eight? All right, calm down. Who's got number eight? Right, team for other team. Oh yeah, it might be this one behind you. Look, by the way, as well, chap, I didn't think about wearing a tie, you know, smarten yourself up a bit. Uh, He's yeah. a boardroom, after all. Yeah, I thought about wearing a tie. Um, I brought a tie, but I um, just didn't feel like putting it on. Speed it, I got yours. <laughs> This is not safe for children on TV. <laughs> Sorry, this is not bullying, kids. I'm just a bit more hands-on. I'm quite a relaxed manager and I... Right, well, like to... I don't really go down the relaxed route of management, really. So uh, I think, uh, you know, it'd be nicer to smarten yourself up a little bit, you know, project the right image. Um, yeah, so how's about being a good chap and getting that tie on, yeah? Yeah, I, I yeah, I understand that. I'll... Good, good. Uh, yeah. How does it feel to have the captain's armband on? It's a little loose, actually. You might be able to tell. The speedo won it last season. It's a bit stretched. He's a bit tattoo. He's a bit stitch. Hello, mate. Hi, mate. Well, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're shooting a documentary on us. Who? I don't know what channel. No, I mean, who are you? I'm Spanish. Right, yeah. Nice to meet you. It's like, if you're coming down here to make a documentary, then do it about the people who play here regularly, yeah? We're three leagues above this lot. Terriers, I mean, never heard of them, who are they? I mean, I've got to agree with the gaffer. I don't know why you guys ain't filming us. It's got a moth in it. <laughs> it's not even silver. And we play every year in the FA Cup. Why on earth are you filming these guys? Oh, here he is, Grinner. Get his boots in. Messi wore them. No, that's true. That's a fact. In fact, well, right, I'll, I'll have a shot. Oh, okay. You should, mate. No, you Klein, you manager to be. Step forward for me, would you? Step forward, yeah. You don't actually. actually this way, that way, straight on. Straight at me. Okay. And one more. Swat. <laughs> Hang on. Piss off. <laughs> Go for it. Yep. Cut a long story short, um, I hit a ref when I was uh, having trials back in the day and uh, yeah, FA banned me for life. I came back um, just to get involved again really. I'd been out of football for a while, I couldn't play anymore and uh, I thought well I've still got something to give, so here I am. Here he is, Laurie Cunningham yeah, himself. Tip. Could have trimmed your goatee. What is it with these guys? Can they smile or something? Why take a face. photograph if he's Show doing off. that? At least he had a proper goatee. What's that thing you've got there, your little King Tut? It's pretty, boy. That smile says, I don't want to be here. I'm this, right. This smile says, I don't want you to be here, you prick. I'm always here and I always will be. And don't we fucking know it. Brilliant, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm just a bit more casual um, in tracksuit, a bit like Tony Pulis. Yeah, well, I, I don't really care about Tony Pulis, to be honest. This is, uh, this is my club, my boardroom. Hi, guys. Hi there. Sorry, Emily. Quick news. We signed Tardelli. Brilliant. Who's Tardelli? Italian. New star centre-back. Luca Tardelli has been signed from Torino Football Club in Italy. Richardson had to fight off strong competition from Tunbridge for his signature. Because of this, the transfer has eluded the attention of Terrier's boss, Ray Barnes. Wait a minute, y you've gone and signed a new player without actually telling me. You just me. said you wanted new players. I know, but I... He is fantastic. Look, there's a DVD of him. Have a watch. He's just that's, great. That's, that's not really the there. point, is it? No, no, come on. It's, uh, let's give it a watch. Watch. Hi, Katie, bring that DVD player in here and uh, look, see if you can find a nice big telly as well, yeah? That'd be really great. Come and watch it on, yeah? Good girl. It's a nice place, isn't it? Yeah. It, no, is. it looks like a real stadium, you know? Mm. I like it. I like it. Come on, why is he wearing this armband for the picture? All right, then the captain. Let's Danny sit there. Well, you have the manager's in the middle and then keep his either side. Is Danny in the footer? He in the footer, yeah. Um, I'll leave him out. 
Manager, coach, captain, two keepers. No, just just take this fucking photo. Get off, get the middle. Brady, sit there. What am I sitting on here? Not no, 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 What's no, the point no. of me moving from that end to that end? <laughs> me and Ray can sit there. Where is Ray? Right, um, we've got the team photo. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget your tie. You'll have to uh, fuck the tie off for now, Barnes. Let's, uh, let's get going, shall we? Next week on Road to FA Cup. Luckiest ball in the world. <laughs> Luca Tardelli makes his much anticipated arrival. Fucking hell, he doesn't speak any English at all, does he? Ray Barnes continues to fight what seems to be a losing battle. I've had a chat with the ref, we've got the team sheet changed, it's all clear. Just angry to be honest. But still finds the energy to row his team for their first fixture of pre-season. We got where we are today on merit. And what seems to be the problem with ex-captain Ian Davis? Oi, half an hour till the game, aren't you missing the team talk? Where do you see yourself in a few years' time? Well, it'd be nice, you know, jumping up the uh, divisions and, uh, you know, ending up in the Premiership eventually. I mean, that's the sort of goal, really, isn't it, I suppose? The Premiership, uh, you're ten divisions below currently. Um, how quickly can you get there? I don't see any reason why we can't sort of get up there in a, in a, in a few years. Well, ten, it, would, it would be at least ten years, wouldn't it? No.